Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sexenda update. This is week 10 and I'm going to be sharing with you guys my side effects, my dosage, how the week went. It is the week after Thanksgiving, so I'm excited to get into it. My progress, of course, my weight loss, so let's get into it. So I got my baby down for his nap. Toddler is being occupied as well, so I'm going to get through this, do my makeup. You guys know I like to just kill two birds with one stone. So if you guys remember last week was Thanksgiving and if you wanna see my progress and kinda of how that week went, um, definitely check out week nine. But my day one of week 10 was the day after Thanksgiving and pretty much from Friday to Sunday of week 10, I wasn't eating as heavy as I was uh, like for Thanksgiving, but I definitely wasn't watching what I was eating as much. Um, if you guys don't know, I have been doing low carb pretty much for the last like month and a half on this medication and low sugar also. So from pretty much Friday to Sunday into Monday, I could tell I was so like worn down from eating so much heavier than normal. My stomach was really bothering me a lot, which we'll get into, but I could just tell from eating heavier and just kind of eating whatever, like my energy was low. I just wasn't feeling great at all. And so I was really excited once Monday came around to start eating better again. So if you guys aren't following me over on Instagram, I share progress photos over there pretty much every Saturday. So I have a highlight called Sexenda on my highlight page on my Instagram. So if you wanna see like actual photos of how it's been through the weeks, definitely follow me over there. And I've also been sharing more meals and stuff on my Instagram as well. And so once week 10 started again and I went back to eating low carb and low sugar, um, I was basically eating like just smoked turkey because we did a smoked turkey for Thanksgiving over that weekend um, and a fried egg every morning. That's kind of like my breakfast. I just eat like a lot of protein and some fat and uh, protein from the egg as well. And then I always have my sugar-free Alani every single morning. This has been a big difference for me. Um, I'll show you guys that right here. If you guys are looking for something, these are what I drink. I get mine at Target. That's like the best place for me to find one. They're kind of hard to find like in a gas station. Um, but going from drinking coffee with cream, switching over to something sugar-free has really changed my progress a lot. Um, I am losing weight a lot faster and I'm a lot less hungry from going from sugary coffees in the morning to something sugar-free. So let's get into how the week went. So when it comes to side effects, I feel like the medication is still working really well, which is exciting. It hasn't like stopped working um, or anything like that, which I was nervous for the first like few weeks when I was upping my dose. I was like, uh, it feels like it's not working as good. But now that I've been on this max dose for a while, I feel like it's working really great. And as long as I stay low carb and low sugar, it really, really helps curb my appetite a lot. So I don't even know if I mentioned, but I am at the full dose. So the three milligrams is what I've been at for a while now. Um, somebody asked how long does a pen last? And I haven't like full on checked that out, but I think it's about a week or so. Um, I get quite a bit of pens prescribed to me each time. Um, so I never run out or anything, but yeah, it lasts about a week. So when it comes to side effects as well, I definitely have a little tiny bit of nausea. I'll notice like at the end of the day when I finally lay down in bed for some reason, like once I lay down, I'll get like a slight like nauseous feeling, but it's never anything that bad and it goes away. It's not like I can't fall asleep or anything. Um, but also I have really started to have issues with like going to the bathroom, which has been kind of rough honestly like um it's not like all the time uh every day or anything but i am noticing like i have to start supplementing to use the bathroom now um so that has been probably the worst symptom like for this like week now so that's definitely been the most annoying uh side effects so far um, but my doctor just has me do like Miralax and Benefiber together, not like together in the same cup, but like taking one after the other together. Um, and it works great and fine, but it is like quite painful, like just because, you know, you're not using the bathroom as much and 
there's some foods especially like something heavy like in dairy for me personally um that will really get my stomach like upset and hurting and it's just not a good time so that's definitely one of the like more negative side effects that i've been experiencing this week so one of the really good things that i noticed this week is sugar cravings are so low like i had to eat sugar like after every meal pretty much before starting this medicine like i would just crave sweets um and I just don't anymore. Like I definitely still like maybe kind of like, oh, that sounds good, but it's not to the point where like, I'm just like automatically grabbing something sweet after every, every meal that's not happening anymore. And it's even gotten to the point where like I taste food or like something sweet, like I'll have a bite of it and I'm like, mm, and I just put it down. Like it's so weird. Um, food just doesn't taste the same on this medication and I know some of you guys have also said that and it's just so weird so I don't know I think it's like in um, combination with me like being more low sugar and low carb plus the medication it's really helping just the sugar cravings together because I feel like if I was still continuously having having my sugary coffees and like really not trying to be low sugar it wouldn't be like that as much but i think because i am limiting my sugar plus the medication it's really really helping like and that's the thing about this medication is it does not do all the work for you like at all and i had to learn that you know over time like it's been a process it hasn't just been like take the medication eat whatever i want lose weight that is not how it has worked for me at all it has really taught me to eat better like because i notice when i eat low carb low sugar when i really fill up on good things i lose weight so much faster obviously than if i was eating small amounts of sugary carb things also with the good food so it has just really helped me with my actual habits which has been like the best part that's why i'm not concerned after this medication i get that um, comment so every so often of like oh what are you going to do after like aren't you afraid you're going to gain it all back and i'm not because this has been weeks and weeks of shifting how i'm actually eating and that's been the best part and also i almost dropped my brush um i have not been exercising at all i was exercising in the beginning a lot and then the fatigue was so bad in the beginning that it was like pretty much impossible to work out and then um now that i've been at the three milligram dose for so many weeks now my energy is fine my energy is back but i have not incorporated working out back into my routine yet i've been so busy with the holidays and christmas and just having three kids it's been a lot but i really want to start incorporating that back into my routine so another thing that i have really noticed is the longer i wait to eat first thing in the morning the less hungry i am like overall this has been something that i've really noticed in the last couple of weeks so i i guess i'm technically intermittent fasting i don't know i'm not like counting the hours or doing any of that stuff i don't like rules <laughs> like i don't like all that stuff i don't like particularly do well when i have rules so like if i put like the label of keto or intermittent fasting like my brain me i i don't like that like i have an aries moon astrology for you guys and i just hate being told what to do it like really pisses me off and that's how i am when it comes to like rules of dieting and food like if you tell me i can't have this this and that it's like no i'm gonna do what i want okay so i technically have been doing that and i have noticed a big big difference when i get up in the morning i get probably up around like between like 5 and 6 a.m it just depends on the day um and i'll have like a spike of hunger which you do in the morning because your cortisol spikes when you first wake up you'll feel a little hunger ping but it's not like really time to eat sometimes people will and that's cool if that's you um, but I typically I'm so busy in the morning with the kids that I just don't and then I notice it goes away so I typically don't start eating until like maybe 10 30 to 12 like it just varies I'm not strict on it at all I just listen to my body um, but I do notice if I do eat you know at 8 o'clock or 7 30 like much earlier than the normal time that I do i will eat again at 12 and then i'll be hungry again at 2. like it i just start to eat a lot more so definitely try that if you feel like your hunger is still kind of like strong um try intermittent fasting if that works for you or just at least extending it just slightly um it has made a big difference for me all right so let's go ahead and get into the results i know that's what you guys want to know um so i have it written down here in my notes 
I told you guys this last week, but every so often I will measure myself like my actual inches um, And I did that this week, which is week 10 um, I lost half an inch off my waist and I lost half an inch off my hips So that has kind of been a little bit of a standstill I've noticed over the last few weeks from yeah from week 8 to week 10 um, I finally lost a little bit of inches. I noticed that's starting to like slow down as I've lo lose, lose, <laughs> lost more weight. And so when it comes to weight loss this week, I lost two pounds even, which I was so excited about, especially like being at a standstill last week for Thanksgiving, went right back to my normal eating and lost two more pounds, which is great. So overall, let's see where we're at. So overall in 10 weeks, I have lost a total of 17 pounds, which is so crazy to think that I am almost to the 20 pound mark and I still have more than half of that to go. Cause I have about a 50, 55 pound weight loss goal and I'm almost to the halfway point ish. So that's super exciting. Let me know how it's been going for you guys. Um, I love hearing like your guys' experience because it can be kind of different but similar for everybody. So definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're going. What week are you on? Definitely follow me over on Instagram if you want to see those photos. And yeah, I'm excited for week 11. We're almost to the three month mark, which is like mind blowing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the subscribes and the love. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.